In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys this rapid zoom transition effect that you can use in your music videos. I use this effect when the song has a high tempo or if there's a lot of energy going on in the video. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and if you're enjoying the content, hit that like button. Let's get into this effect. So for this effect, I'm going to be using the Central C and Little Baby video as an example. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to get segments out of your video that you feel like has some good shots, nice slow-mos, close-ups, like whatever you feel like looks best. And you want to cut it at one frame. So let me just show you an example. You want to mark your endpoint here and then you want to hold shift and use one arrow key. And that's just going to move by one frame. Okay. And then you just drag it into your timeline like so. So as you can see, I've got a whole load here. I've got around 10. Now you can do one frames, two frames, three frames, depending on how fast you want the zoom. Now for me, I want it to be like a really fast zoom. So that's why I've cut these clips only by one frame. One, 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 as you can see. So that's how I'm doing it. I've got 10 here and that's exactly the way that I want this transition to look like. So if we just played it through, you can see what it looks like now without any effect added. Just nice and simple just cut really fast and this transition can literally be used to cut to the beat or just in between your performance shots just make b-rolls a little bit more interesting rather than just having them at a slow pace all the time so the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on your first clip okay make sure that that's highlighted and go to effects and you want to go to transform okay just type transform there drag this onto your first clip now the next thing you want to do is go to effect controls and you want a keyframe scale right here okay so under transform keyframe scale and when you keyframe an effect or a setting here it's basically going to move the image or scale it and position it however you want to with a slow or fast moving animation okay so that's basically what keyframing is if you had no idea so that's keyframed at 100 which is the default setting for this framing so as you can see when we zoom out it goes small and when you go to 100, it fits right into the picture here, okay? So we want this to stay at 100 at the start. This is our start keyframe right here. And you wanna just drag it to around halfway. And we're gonna change this number to 180 once we've dragged it halfway there. Now, as you can see, we've zoomed in, okay? You wanna drag this keyframe towards the end so that it looks like this. Just a clean zoom at the start, okay? So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna highlight your first keyframe, right click and go to ease out. We're gonna do the opposite from easing in to easing out. So for the first keyframe, we're gonna ease out. And then for the last keyframe, highlight, right click and ease in so that we get a nice look. So the last thing I like to add to this transition for the main part is you go to shutter angle right here. You don't keyframe it, just change the number from zero to 200. I feel like that is a good look and there we go so that is our first zoom you guys can switch this up change it around to how you want it to look if you want to zoom in even more it's up to you so what we're going to do here is very simple we're just going to right click the transform effect and we're going to click copy because all what we've done here we just want to copy it on all of these other clips right here and the way that you would do this is you would highlight all the other clips so the rest of nine clips that i've got here and i'm going to press Control v now what that has done is just basically added the effect that we did on the first one to all nine of these, okay? So that's how you want it to be. But what you wanna do is you just wanna check between some of them, they might not have that last keyframe right at the end. So just double check and make sure that that keyframe is all the way at the end. So now we've got it all there lined up with the same effect. And if we press play, we can see what it looks like. Now, like I said, this can literally just be done in between performance shots. It doesn't even have to be this long. So the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna go to adjustment layer and you click okay. And basically just trim this down a little bit just so that you can use this adjustment layer as an effect to overlay in between each clip here, okay? So we're gonna trim this down a little bit more. So that is around just under one frame, okay? So now what we're going to add to this adjustment layer is we're going to go to our effects panel and we're going to type in shake. Now these effects that I'm going to be using in this video are my presets that I've just recently made. So guys, if you want to support the channel, click the link in the description and you can download these today and use them in your music videos. It's an intensity pack, so it's very nice and it gives a lot of touches to your music videos depending on the sort of look that you're trying to go for. So for this first effect, we're going to add small shake. So we're just going to add this to our adjustment layer. 
so now when we scroll through we can kind of see the effect that we're getting it's just like a nice small shake to maybe perhaps go with the beat of the song through each cut here so it's very efficient for them high tempo songs that i've been talking about or just a lot of energy in the song so we're just gonna duplicate all of this across each cut just like so and i'm just holding alt on the keyboard and dragging so as you can see we've got that now added to all of the clip and if we just press play you can see the effect that we're getting now you guys can tone this down you can trim it down you don't have to have it going for that long you can make the shake last a little bit shorter than that you don't have to have it shaking for that long but i'm just doing a example here for you guys the next thing i want to do is i'm going to actually duplicate this adjustment layer on top we're going to click on this the second adjustment layer go to effects controls and we're going to delete the small shake we're going to go back to effects here and we're going to type in flash blur Again, this is another effect from my preset pack. Feel free to get them today. Drag that onto your adjustment layer on top of this one. And now this is just gonna be a nice flash, but with a blur at the same time. And it kind of transitions from the first clip to the second clip. So again, you just wanna copy and paste this across of all the other effects on top of them. So that now we've got one effect with the flash and the other effect with the shape. So now when we watch this back, that's the sort of effect we're getting. It just gives your video a nice touch and it makes it a lot more engaging. It gives it a lot of energy and it's just a nice transition for people that are looking for, you know, any sort of flashes, shakes. And when you're having a fast cut, you want to make things exciting and don't make it look so dull. These are the type of intensity effects that I would use. Again, guys, it's nothing too crazy. It just gives your music video that clean look. If you're looking for a lot of energy in your video, these sort of effects is gonna help it in throughout the video, in between performance shots, B-rolls, etc. And of course, because it is your music video, you're going to be able to put it in your own style with any of the other presets that you may have yourself or just effects that you do on your own. So feel free to do that. You can make your music videos look 10 times better with adding these sort of things into your video. So that is it for today's video. I appreciate all the support on the channel and I'll catch you in the next video.